Madness call has superior drafting skills. What is up, everyone? This is Snowcap T Central. Welcome to part 13 of Project Gotham Racing 3. In this championship, we're going to go back across the world to do the Nightfall World Tour. For events, dangerous and difficult, pushing machine to the limit, and pitch black time racing. Oh, so this must mean this is another night themed event. First one is going to be a hot lap at a lot at the New York track, Park 2 Tillery. And, um, <laughs> since we have enough credits because of the amount that they give us, we're going to buy um, almost every classic car except for the concepts that we have to unlock. We're buying the Ferrari F50, possibly my favorite, one of my, um, it's actually one of my favorite Ferraris, but not my all-time favorite Ferrari. I really like this car. Whatever, we'll just go for it. And yeah, we're gonna put it here. No wait, um Yep, it has a mole called move cause wrong garage. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, press you have to press X to pick up and then place it there. Okay. Done. That's what it looks like here. So we're gonna use this car for this hot lap. We have the target times and the price rewards. And let's do this. Just to show you the front. How it looks like. So yeah, this thing was made to celebrate the 50th anniversary of of having four hours around. Yeah, because I because I looked up when I watch GG Boobus' walkthrough of Test Drive for Racing Legends. Yeah. So this car is a massive convertible. For some reason, this game was not programmed to um, put the top o to put the top on the convertible over or not. I don't know why. We must be careful uh, because we're also doing this on the track. Driving this car on the track. Seems like this car doesn't have much braking drifts so. though. That's fine. You know, it's a good experience having this car around. I think I might use this in the final ways, final, final ways that we're gonna be doing in this let's play. This is driving on a straightway. The bridge, one well, of the bridges in New York. Let's see how much speed we can get. One ninety four. I I didn't know we could get to two hundred. It might be because that um, but we're finishing up the hot lap around here. Anyways, we finish this event. This man, the F50 is such fun to drive around. Anyways, the second one we're going to be doing is going to be a timed one. Which point of track are we going to this time? Oh, it's the Las Vegas longest point to point track, the Grand One. Okay. Target times and prize awards. Let's go. I know what I did that for. Let's drive this car around Vegas.
Oh, oh. I don't know if we have to wall or not. I mean, we didn't waste any kudos. That's good. Wall. Okay, so we're earning more kills than we did in the hot lap in New York. Oh wait, that's actually a clean section so far. Yep, this is long. That's why we call it the grand one. Yeah, so we're going to like every part around New York, around Las Vegas, and just from point to point. Man, that was gutsy, part because I almost hit that wall. Doesn't have that breaking sensation like the S1 McGrailen had. And we're not talking about the, we're not focusing on that right now. We're done. Stop before we hit the wall. That's nice. He was channel. Anyways, the third event we're going to be doing is going to be a, oh, another time one. This time, the Tokyo track, the Triangle Building. Ah. Now you're the new target time since the track's shorter. And, um, let's do this. Let's go. Oh man, we're gonna go, we're gonna jump. But you know, doing the perfect jump doesn't always work as it results in you hitting the wall. Because of the amount, of, because of the least amount of space you just put there. That's gonna be one of the tricky parts about Tokyo. You do a jump, and like, well, you might hit the it's most likely you'll hit the wall. Going through these um, side turns. 
And um, we will end this time one off with this last turn right here. And we are done. Even though this wasn't Queen Race because of that jump. This is a good track though. Two wheels. That's something by the R390 GT1. Last one we're going to be doing is going to be a time for the Skewers Challenge at the London track, the Birdcage. Okay. Same price of rules, but this is the amount of time you gotta you gotta do and save. All right, let's go. Since this car doesn't have much drifting, we're gonna have to eat. We're gonna have to use our e-bike to drift. There's the um, there's like the White House and you and London. Breaking power over, but we just e braked. Breaking faint. That's weird. Maybe these breaking techniques are working, even though I'm just e braking. Okay, finally we recognize the e brake slide. section saves up for time and makes up the kudos here we go we're gonna go into this last turn here we finish out this championship like that So yeah, that was a Knife of World Tour. At least that's what I checked the name was before I did it. Anyways, the champion is complete. We got a complete bonus of 350,000 credits. Glorious. We also unlock new championships as well. Yeah, so this was... Of, yep, I was right. The Knife of World Tour. In the next championship, we're going to go back to Tokyo to do the Driver's Trophy. Anyways, um, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a very good night.